Hi guys! Good morning once again. It's Ate Lor here in my kitchen in Connecticut. And for today's cooking video guys, as promised, I am cooking our corned beef and cabbage. It's uh, old recipes from the Irish under St. Patrick's holiday. But before I start, I'd like to uh, say hello to you all out there, my followers, friends, family. Good morning if you're in America and Canada. And if you're in the Philippines, good evening. Maayong gabi kaninyong tanan, especially sa akong mga higala o kaparintihan sa Labangon, Banawa, Guadalupe, sa akong mga pag-umangkon nga naa sa Cebu. And shout out to my brother who is traveling right now with his family. Guys, if you see a family of eight, oh no, wait, they're nine now. They just inherited a new daughter-in-law. And uh, please say hello and be nice. My brother, guys, has been through enough. Um, Ramel, he's a survivor of stroke for the last, this is going to be six years now. And... Keep that fighting spirit, bro. I love you. And also, um, shout out to uh, my friends, Maruchi and Annie Park. <laughs> and to Carla, Rowena, Kirsty, Pasina, England. <laughs> and um, who did I mention? Sharon. Uh, these are the people, guys, that... Oh, Riley and Riley and sorry, Yang. These are the people, guys, that helped me survive my four years at Cebu Normal University. Thank you all. Back then, they don't know me as like this. Magpakaawaw. <laughs> I was very aloof. Uh, actually, I did this video because I want to just get out of the shell. I'm always a shy person. In fact, I don't have many friends here because... I tend to panic when it's a bigger crowd. But anyway, guys, welcome back to our cooking video. Um, first here, I have our corned beef. This is preserved meat, guys, so it's very salty. It has been soaking in the sink for the last 12 hours just to take the salt out of it. But um, this is all boiled uh, ingredients. There's no um frying here or anything so all your flavors come from this fat so um what can i say fat is tasty and the cook is yummy <laughs> sorry that's a coke joke or something <laughs> anyways guys um i've already pre-cut the vegetables that goes in the pot it's boiling right now. I made sure I have a bigger pot this time, guys, because I know the last time everything was coming out of the pot of the pan and um, it was messy. Anyways, here are the must. We have I chose this time red potatoes, and um, I probably have about five regular sizes here, cut into cubes. And here we got our carrots. These are organic, very tiny ones. And these are your yellow onions. And so the other must ingredients, ingredient that go with this is the cabbage. So before I cut the cabbage, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and pat our meat dry before I uh, stick it into the pot. The pot is already boiling. Oh, by the way, excuse me for a second. Um, this time, I've tried a different brand of corned beef. I usually go for the Hamel Brothers, but this year, guys, I got sticker shock. When I went to the store to get my meat, oh gosh, I saw like a $40 flat. I go for the flat uh, style cut of meat, and... Um, it was $40 and I said, well, it's seasoned. I'm just going to make it yummy my own. You know, it doesn't have to be that expensive, especially if you're, um, you know, feeding a lot of people. So this 
time I choose uh, O'Donnell's. So this is my first time, um, and it's uh, three times less than the Hamill Brothers, anyway. Um, so anyways, uh, back to my meat. I just gotta put this dry, and it's ready to go into the pot, guys. I'm just gonna touch it with my hand. My hands are clean, guys. Oops, there goes the water. And it in the pocket also comes with this mixed, I don't know if you can see it, mixed pocket of spices. This goes in the um, in the pot as well. Excuse me for a second. I forgot to prepare my scissors. So there you go. Oops, it's a little bit left here in the pocket. So this will be boiling or be simmering for about three hours. I, I like to have the meat be tender because you know, my folks, they like it shredded. Before I can put in my vegetables, the vegetables, uh, the potatoes and the carrots and the onions, um, they go first, you know, the onions too add more flavor and then the potatoes and the carrots uh, tend to cook a little bit longer so um they're gonna go in first so now let me just oh you can't even see excuse me guys my cabbage i'm just gonna go ahead and cut my cabbage oops my hands are a little sticky from touching that meat <laughs> Someday, guys, I'm going to have a better sit up for this kitchen. So we'll have so much fun. And um, as you can see, even my hat, my hat is not a chef's hat. Maybe one of you out there watching. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Be kind enough to send me a hat, a chef's hat. But anyway, guys, no, you don't have to. Tomorrow, I'll be going out with the fam so maybe i'll hit a store and find me a nice shifts hat yeah so this whole cabbage guys would go into the pot because you know they cooked they cooked and uh even that meat that that was probably about two pounds but by the time it's done and it's all cooked we'll be lucky if we get like half the size of it but um in this household it's only hannah and david that's crazy about this uh food really because you know they're the uh i think one eighth irish in the family hannah would go for the fresh steak yeah so you can never go wrong on this recipe guys very very simple maybe um I don't know, one of these days I'll show you how to cook uh, more recipes that are boiled. Because boiled is simple, you know. And when, while this is cooking, I got a lot to do still. Um, me and Hannah are going uh, grocery shopping while this is being cooked. And then by the time we get back, we'll be ready for the potatoes. And... Um, but i don't recommend you leaving the stove guys with no one watching especially if you're working with gas please don't i have an electric stove and i'll just trust it that you know oh my god the house won't go ablaze my god you don't want that to happen to your house like i said if you're working with gas please please don't leave your stove unattended so i guess that's a wrap folks and maybe um later on look how pretty my cabbage guys just like me again <laughs> um i'll show you in the uh comment the our presentation like i said i still don't know how to edit this cooking video guys so you have to forgive me for that but um, I'll promise to uh, start doing some lessons on editing. Let me take some time, but we'll get there, you know. It's, um, like I said, I'm just trying to um, 
get me out myself from my from my comfort zone so i get out you know if you were here in my kitchen watching me doing this guys i won't be able to do this at least you can't see me here in person <laughs> so i'm good so um anyway guys i hope you are having a wonderful time where whichever part of the world you are and i hope uh you stay healthy and thank god for everything you got and i love you all god bless thank you